This is not just a banana. It can do cool magics. I just teleported to a park. Oh. Oh shit, where am I? I, I gotta go back home. Google released Gemini 2.5 Flash, a new AI image model with the cool name Nano Banana, and it's gonna change editing forever. Photoshop is officially dead. This new AI model is absolutely insane. If you wanna make this lady drink a coffee, boom, you just need one prompt. Or we can make her drink a Coca-Cola. What about adding a headset? Easy. Can we change the her shirt to a winter jacket? Why not, it's super easy. What if we remove the laptop and convert the table into a coffee table? One more thing. Let's change the background to a snowy background. Now let's make her drink a hot coffee because it looks really cold outside. And I'm sure that you have already understood how powerful this new AI model is. It only took me several prompts to convert this simple image to this brand new image without changing its character. So let's do some editing with the new AI model to see what limitations it has and what we can do with this tool. First, I'm gonna sign up for my Google Gemini account. And this 2.5 flash model is what you called Nano Banana. For the photo editing feature, you need to go to these tools and select the create image feature, which has a banana logo. Now first, I have these two images. Now I wanna switch the jacket of this person to this new green color one. So let's click this plus icon and import these two images. And I'm just gonna type a very simple prompt like this. Switch the jackets and let's see the results. Okay, this looks super realistic and the jacket is exactly as the given image. Now, let's try to make a full body image of this person by typing, make a full body version of the person. Okay, this is nice. All the small details are absolutely perfect. Now, I'm gonna change the background of this image to a crowded city background. This is exactly what I wanted. Now, let's try to change the movements of this person. So I'm gonna type, make the person walking towards the camera. Nice, I mean, it's the same person with the same facial features. Normally, when it comes to AI image editing, most of the time, when we want to change the main character in the image, it's going to mess up their facial features. But his AI model is doing a great job so far with keeping the consistency of this character. Now I'm going to convert this man's outfit into an army officer's outfit, so let's see the results. Okay, cool, this is nice, just like this. You can change any details of this image. Normally, if you were going to use Photoshop to do photo editing like this, it's going to take hours. But with this model, you can do it in seconds with just one single prompt. These are just basic things that this AI model can do. If you are an animator, you will love this tool. Let's say you have a character like this, and in order to animate it, you need several versions of it, like side profiles, doing several actions, and other variations. So you need to draw like 50 variations to animate a single scene with that character. But now, you don't need to do that. Let me show you. So I have this cartoon character that I created. Now, I'm gonna add it here, and let's make several variations of it. First, I'm gonna get the full body view of this character. You can simply type it. It's not gonna take more than 20 seconds. Okay, we got the full body version of this cartoon character. Let's make several variations. First, I'm gonna get the right side profile view of this character, just like before, simply type it. You don't need to use detailed prompts. Okay, this looks cool. Now, I'm gonna try several variations. Let's make a variation with both hands up. Just like that, I'm gonna try several ideas with this. Now, I wanna see if we can change this character's posture as well. Let's try something like changing his posture, he is sitting and drinking coffee. Okay, we can easily do that. I'm 100% sure that all the animators and cartoon creators are gonna love this AI. Let's say you have a dress and you wanna do a product photo shoot with that dress. Now you don't need to hire photographers and models to do a photo shoot. You just need to upload your dress to this AI and simply type, a model wearing this dress in a white background, and it will give you a stunning studio level, realistic photo like this. You can use this on your website and social media without spending a penny. Not only the front view of the image, but you can also get all the other side profiles of that specific dress as well. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna do a complicated edit. I have four photos, two close images, one image of a dog, and a car image, and I'm gonna use this model image. I wanna combine all these four images with this model. 
So let's upload these images. And my prompt is gonna be something like this. Male model wearing the baggy pants and denim jacket. And he is leaning into the red car with his dog. This looks absolutely amazing. All the details are correct exactly as I expected. The car is the same and the dog is also similar to the example I provided. Most importantly, the pants and the denim jacket are exactly the same. And this image doesn't look like an AI generated one, to be honest. The quality is insane and the accuracy is also perfect. Now I'm gonna try a product replacement test with this AI. I have this image of a man using his iPhone. I wanna swap this iPhone for a Samsung phone, so let's try it. I'm just gonna type as swap the phones. Okay, this is nice. Another thing that this AI can do is we can make interior housing designs. Let me show you that as well. So, I have an empty house and I wanna make it furnished by adding some furniture to it. So let's upload this and I'm just gonna type add a sofa, two chairs, one coffee table, a TV with a TV stand to this room. And that's it. It's gonna add all the things to this room. Okay, here I only see one chair, that's normal. Everything can make mistakes. Now, I'm gonna ask it, add some plants around the house to make it more decorative. Yeah, this is good. Now I'm gonna add a rug to this floor. Normally if we use an editing tool like Photoshop to add a rug to the floor, it's very complicated and it's gonna take hours of work. But as you can see here, I just added a cool rug to the floor with just one prompt. And that's how powerful this AI tool is. Another thing that we can do is we can manipulate the color grading in this image. Now as you can see here, I just make it darker by just saying, turn the day mode into night mode. That's so easy. And as you can see here, I just added a yellow color bulb to the house. So this was the raw image I took, and this is the final edit. What do you think? It looks realistic to me. Another cool thing about this AI is that it has a clear understanding of the real world. Therefore, we can make a lot of images without that AI uncanny look. However, like everything, this AI model is not 100% perfect. It makes mistakes as well. When I was creating the first model with the red dress, I didn't get the side profile look first. Instead, I got this image, which was a completely different dress. So I had to try several times to get the output I wanted. Then I re-uploaded this image and finally got the outfit I wanted. Sometimes you have to give the instructions clearly to get what you want. And when I was creating a phone product image, I had to try several times. First, I got the same Apple phone in a different color. Then I got the correct phone, but it has something in the middle and I actually don't know what that is. Third time, I didn't get anything. It's just the same image I uploaded. However, on the fourth try, I was able to get what I wanted. I think that's normal with any AI model. Mistakes can be made. If you are a photo editor, graphic designer, animator, or even a video editor, this tool is gonna save a lot of your time. So I would highly recommend you to try this tool and see. This is actually not a promotional video. Google didn't pay me a single penny. I just think this tool is really cool and helpful. So with that, today's video has come to an end. I hope you learned some valuable information from this video. I will see you in the next one.